Monomania just went down on Pretty Little Liars, and right now we're breaking down the highlights for the new episode. First up, watch out Toby, he almost got caught when Paige and Emily run after the hooded figure who slashed their tires, like that was a close call for him and a major happening in this episode. We also learned that Lucas is the one who purposefully set the fire, you know, the one that accidentally hurt Meredith, but he wanted to spook Mona. Everyone now actually thinks that it was that creepy Harold dude from the motel, and they don't even suspect Lucas. In fact, it's Lucas who warns Hannah that Mona is not better and that none of them are safe. This happens after Hannah reveals that she knows it was him sneaking around the basement of the school. So to bring it back, Hannah, Spencer, and Emily were trying to find Allie's journal so they can figure out why Mr. Montgomery was hanging out with Allie the night of her death. And instead of finding life details, the journal has one page with written words on it that say, keep moving ladies, nothing to see here. A. Speaking of Arya's dad, he's acting a little bit suspicious of what, it is not confirmed yet, but there's a fight that he gets into with Meredith and Arya is witness. And then we find out that Byron had found the pages from Allie's diary, the ones that Arya had hidden, and Meredith eventually gives them back to Arya. In fact, these two ladies have a moment or two. So we just learned that Spencer is on the academic decathlon and she is running for team captain. Since something happened to the other candidate, remember when there was a bike accident at the end of another episode? Well, suddenly Mona is Spencer's competition. And in a crazy battle, Mona wins. Crazy, right? Lucas tells Hannah that he has been being blackmailed by Mona for quite a while now. One of our favorite parts in the episode is hashtag chasing A when Paige and Emily are running after Toby. Did you guys participate in that Twitter challenge? And what about when Hannah tells off Mona, they are done. A hooded Mona hops on a call to say that Byron is leaving his office, and then we see a hooded figure hiding some recognizable creepy masks from the Halloween train party. And he or she might want to bury those a little bit deeper in the soil rather than just putting them in the leaves. All right, everyone, that is it for now. Leave a comment below about the most shocking moment of Mona Mania. And subscribe right now to Clever TV for all of your pretty little liars news and more. I'm Dana Ward here in Hollywood. We'll see you next time.